My beautiful friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone and those of you that are brand new to my channel. Hello and welcome my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I have something very special for all of you today. This is your 2024 yearly prediction. I have a ton of cards ready to go here. This is going to be a more in detail reading. And what I would suggest here for all of you is to grab a sheet of paper, a pen, and to make some notes. Even grab a cup of coffee or something cozy that you would like to drink. Settle down and tune in because I have a lot of information that I wanted to bring to you for 2024. All right, so I'm going to share with you what it is that I'm doing today. So we're going to start with an angel number. I'm going to pull one angel card and see what message comes through. I'm also going to pull a blessing or an angel message from the universe that you need to hear before I start your tarot reading. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. After that, we're going to find out what it is that you need to surrender or release out of your life. All right. So these are things that are truly going to help make sure that 2024 for you is very successful. I'm also going to pull a card a blocked energy that you can release in your life. We're also going to pull a healing card with an affirmation, which I'm going to share with you today. And uh, we're going to pull an animal spirit message as well. And to close off, we're going to pull an additional bonus card that is a message specifically for you. So I've got a tarot deck here and I use this tarot deck in my personal readings. All right, so it's a message that I might not understand. So I want you to place everything actually where it resonates for you. And as I mentioned on my channel that whenever I have my cards popping up on screen here, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition here, everyone. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So grab a paper and pen and get ready to dive in to your 2024 reading, everyone. Now, before we start, I just quickly wanted to mention here that 2024 is the year number eight in numerology. The number eight is a power number, everyone. This year is going to be a results-oriented year. Anywhere that you put your focus, your attention, your effort, your time, your energy, that's where you're going to see results. It's also a year where you have the potential to really succeed in your life. Discipline is going to be very much required this year. So I want all of you to take this year seriously. Take the necessary action steps in order to create your dreams and really discipline yourself. Use tools. Be resourceful here, everyone. We have so many things available here. Put yourself into a system. Use positive affirmations, meditation to really align yourself. And remember, results-oriented year here, so taking action on your dreams, being brave and courageous. You're going to see an uptick in everything in your life. So wherever your focus goes, that's where the energy flows, everyone. So remember that. My beautiful Gemini friends, how are you? Welcome to your 2024 reading. I'm going to go ahead and start with pulling an angel number for you. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. And these angel numbers that I pull for you today are going to be significant because these are going to follow you around in 2024. Okay, and I want you to pay attention to them because this is the message that you want to go back to anytime you see those numbers. So spirit guides are wanting you to have faith this year. We have zero 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 coming up so anytime you see those numbers anywhere in your life zeros come back to this as having faith here gemini so let's see what the messages are on this card 
trust the process. So whatever is going on in your life, trust the process. Things are coming full circle. They're going to come for full circle for you. So anything that you're putting out there, it's going to come back full circle for you this year. There's this feeling of oneness in you as well. Um, wholeness, this bonding, this merging with spirit, with source for you. So I feel for you, Gemini, that this year is going to be all about tapping into your spirituality, growing in that area for a lot of you and having faith that everything is happening in your life for a reason, that trusting the process, trusting yourself and the universe as you're moving along your journey this year. Okay, so this is your first card, having faith. Now I'm going to pull a special message from Spirit and the Universe here as well before you move into 2024, Gemini. So this message, I want you to also carry it around. So I suggest that some of you uh, make notes as you're watching this reading today, because as I pull these cards, um, all of these are going to uh, show up in your lives in the year 2024. And you can always come back to these messages because they're, they're following you around. So this message for you today is what do you want? Gemini, what is it that you want here, my friends? Because whatever it is that you want, you're going to have it this year. And we have this beautiful pink bell moth fairy. So pink bells, uh, these flowers, uh, could be around you this year. You may, uh, they may come into your awareness. I want you to come back to this message anytime you do see them, anything pink colored as well. So if you react negatively to the success and joy of others, it's a sign that you want more for yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Expand your comfort zone here, everyone. So if you're feeling like there's some sort of lack or you're desiring something because you see someone else have it, um, I want you to take joy and take part of that person's joy and celebrate along with them because of that energy. That's the energy that you want to put out because it's going to come back full circle for you, right? We have this card, having faith that Whatever it is that you desire this year, Gemini, it is going to come to you, okay? So let me read you this message again. What do you want, Gemini? To really have clarity around that, visualize it. If you react negatively to the success and joy of others, it's a sign that you want more for yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Expand your comfort zone, okay? So get uncomfortable here everyone in order to create whatever it is that you're desiring to bring it into your life here all right so now i'm going to pull three tarot cards and see what spirit guides would like you to know today now this is a general reading and it may not resonate for everyone today so those of you that are watching if my reading isn't resonating for you please leave it behind i also want to suggest that uh, you all create a vision board for yourself before january uh, there's tons of videos online on YouTube that you can find on how to create a vision board. Something that you can look at every single day, maybe with goals uh, for yourself this year that you want to accomplish. Okay, so we are getting eight of pentacles. Look at this. It's a year of hard work. This is aligning really well with uh, number eight in numerology. This is where you're taking your power back, Gemini. This is where you're putting your efforts everything that you're focusing on, working really hard to create what it is that you desire, making it happen and having faith in yourself and the power of the universe. Okay, so Eight of Pentacles. We have the Emperor card. Wow, how powerful is that? Very masculine energy. This is where you're the creator. You're not here to um, compete, Gemini. You're here to rule. This is uh, where you're rolling up your sleeves and you're creating what you want, taking the chaos around you and creating structure around that. So major arcana card here, this energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely, others you're going to feel this subtly, okay? So this is letting me know that there is a big change coming into your life, Gemini. We also have the hangman looking at your life a little bit differently. 
releasing and letting go of things that no longer serve your higher purpose as well. Again, this is a second major arcana card for you, Gemini. So there are some pr profound changes that you are making for yourself this year. And one of them is how you perceive your world, the lens that you're wearing, the filter that you have on, releasing things that aren't serving your higher purpose or serving your dreams and your desires. So give me a moment here while I take a look at these cards and see what my intuition is drawing in. I feel, Gemini, you're going to make some big, big changes in your life. You're really going to put your... Um, uh, your efforts where your focus is like you're really wanting to see growth here you're going to see a lot of uh, fast-paced movement and a lot of growth and abundance coming into your life in a really big way here this year and this is through your hard work like you're really focused here and you're making um you're implementing things into your life here that are actually going to benefit you. And you're going to see the results of your hard work as well as you do things. So I don't feel like there's this big accomplishment happening at the end of the year. These are little, 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 little ones that are going to happen ongoing this year that are going to lead to that place that you have been desiring for a while here. So this year for you is all about growth, even spiritual. Uh, I just feel that some of you are going to implement a lot of things, like maybe you're going to join a yoga class, you're focusing in on your health, grounding your energy, meditations, all the things that you can, uh, that are, you know, tools that you can use for your growth here. And look at this, look at the growth. You are really uh, coming to this place where you're going to be well um, seasoned almost like you have this knowledge you're you're taking in knowledge and becoming more wiser this year so I feel for a lot of you it's all about what it is that you're going to take in and how you're going to express that and how that's going to come back full circle for you this growth, this uh, solid foundation, this stability, you're creating this for yourself. So some of you are going to be in this very um, comfortable place of abundance where you're seeing, you know, anything that you touch, anywhere that you focus your energy, you're going to see things start to actually happen and develop. So I feel partially this is about your self-development, taking in uh, knowledge, skill sets, uh, really focusing in on adding value to yourself and seeing the results from that. Okay, and not only that, you're you're visualizing things a bit differently, you're seeing things differently, and you're you're understanding that okay, if I want to reach this this milestone here, if I want to go past that glass ceiling, I have to do things differently in my life. So this uh, acknowledgement, this recognition of all these things that you have to work on and actually doing the work and applying that knowledge and doing things way more differently than you have in 2023, you're going to see some big results through this. So I feel for a lot of you, um, the sky is the limit here, my friends, and you're meant to sit on this throne and rule your world. So those of you that are trying to create an empire, some sort of a legacy, this is what's coming to fruition here. So dream as big as you can here, Gemini. Release that whatever no longer serves you. You know what this is, right? And again, this year is about discipline. We've got the eight here again. It's about reclaiming your power. It's about action. It's about mastery, mastering your craft, being so good at what you do that you are undeniable here, Gemini. So own that power within yourself, my friends. I'm now going to pull a surrender release card for you. This is the power of surrender oracle deck. So whatever it is that no longer serves your higher purpose here, uh, Gemini, whatever it is that you have to surrender to to release in your life this year that you need to work on a little bit, this is going to show up in this card. So spirit guides, what do my beautiful Geminis need to hear today? What can they surrender or release out of their life? Surrender worry, Gemini. So look at that. Surrender to worry or surrender worry. Sorry. Um, so... I just love this beautiful white dress, adding more play to your life and not worrying so much. Let me read you the message on this card. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life, Gemini. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So breathing exercises 
incorporate these into your day-to-day -day lives here. Meditation is going to be very powerful for you, Gemini, even yoga. So if you're able to, you know, add all of these tools in your uh, belt, equip yourselves, right, to strengthen yourself this year. So su surrender to worry here, Gemini. All right. Next, I'm going to pull... Um, what is blocking you and how to release it. I've got my little list here, so I'm looking at what order I'm pulling these cards here. So I'm gonna pull two of these cards. So two things that are blocking you that you need to release out of your life and how to do that. So let's take a look and see what we get here for you. Lack of self-discipline. Okay, we talked about discipline. This is going to be so important for you. Those of you that can't achieve a success if you can't control uh, yourself or make yourself work hard okay if you're someone that can't achieve success you've been trying and it's because of your self-discipline this is where spirit guides are asking you to unblock yourself of this and how do you do that have more discipline by having more discipline and it's hard to discipline yourself I know I've been trying to discipline I've been really good at it but lately I've been kind of falling off the wagon here so with discipline and self-control you can accomplish more and only entertain behaviors and activities that align with your values or your goals okay and it's it's that hard work and effort that you put in discipline is in this card discipline is also in the emperor the emperor is very disciplined you're going to be in the place of authority here gemini and a part of that authority a part of how this comes about is through your discipline okay so this is coming through for you as well all right, so next we are going to pull a healing card for you. So what is it that you need to heal in your life here, Gemini? Let's pull one card and see what spirit guides would like you to know today. So what is it that my beautiful Gemini friends need to heal in their lives? What kind of message can we bring to them today, spirit guides? All right, be gentle with yourself, Gemini. We've got a cute little fox I'm pretty sure that's a fox. Um, if you've been seeing a fox in your life, um, this animal is going to follow you around in 2024. So anytime it comes into your awareness here, I want you to go back to this card and the message on this card about being gentle with yourself, Gemini. We have the number 12 on this card. This could be a number of significance. The 12th of the month, this coming year, every 12th of the month, I want you to uh, create some sort of a sacred ritual for yourself, a meditation, something that you do that is aligned to your goals. Perhaps it's you being gentle with yourself and focusing in on self-care. This is not a time to push yourself, Gemini. Be kind and patient with yourself and nourish yourself with loving care. Perhaps every 12th of the month, you can do something that is of self-care, right? So there's an affirmation on this card, which I'm going to read to you. You can use this throughout this year, Gemini. I am gentle and kind to myself. Let me read that again. I am gentle and kind to myself. So again, be gentle with yourself here, Gemini. This is going to be very important for you throughout 2024. All right. I'm now going to pull an animal card from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. Those of you that have been seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to call, uh, give you your confirmation and guidance today. Also, whatever card I pull, again, as the healing card, the animal on this card is going to follow you around in 2024. So anytime it comes into your awareness, I want you to go back to the message of this card. All right, so I'm going to read you the interpretation uh, from the guidebook as well. So we're getting a scarab beetle spirit, and this counts for any kind of beetle, specifically scarab beetle. Okay, so magic works through you, Gemini. Look at that. So if, had, if any of you seen a scarab beetle recently or a beetle that looks like the one on this card, this has the number 52. This could be a number of significance for some of you. May and February are going to be uh, important months for some of you. May the 2nd or February the 5th could be a significant date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the oracle and the pr protection message from the interpretation of this guidebook today. 
All right, so the oracle message for you, Gemini, is in ancient Egypt, the scarab beetle was revered for the creative magic of, was revered. Sorry, I'm going to start this again. So the oracle message for scarab beetle here for you, Gemini, is in ancient Egypt, the scarab beetle was revered. For the creative magic of scarab beetle spirit reminds us that we can bring forth something extraordinary, seemingly out of, the, out of thin air. Whenever you let your creati creativity flow through you, scarab beetle reminds you that spirit has given you the gift of infinite potential. You have an ally as, you're, as you fashion something new or repurpose the old. For spirit co-creates with you, channeling energy through you so that you feel replenished and revitalized as you make magic with what is at hand. Now is a time for great optimism, for you can accomplish anything you desire and your creative endeavors will come to fruition. Miracles, opportunities, abundance, and love will appear seemingly out of nowhere as you allow spirit to work through you and magically manifest what it is that you need. So, wow, that is so powerful. So embrace scarab beetle spirit, everyone, and have faith, trust in the process because things are going to work out for you, all right? And knowing what it is that you want, dreaming as big as you possibly can here, Gemini. So this comes with a protection message as well. Do you doubt your unique magic, Gemini? Are you afraid that you have no originality or that creative juices don't flow through you? Perhaps you mistakenly believe you're not the creative manifesting type. Scarab Beetle Spirit's message is that creativity is a living force that comes to all, um, all of us from spirit who wants every person on the planet to manifest magic and co-create the world anew. You're a, you are a capable you are as capable of resilience as innovation as anyone. If you do not, um, if you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. That's a very powerful sentence. So I'm going to read this to you again one more time. If you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got, Gemini. So draw inspiration into being and begin to playfully create something new in your life. And do it without any kind of judgment. Creativity and magic are your legacy as an expression of the creator. So let them flow through you, Gemini. This is going to be so powerful for you. Okay, the change begins with you. So remember that. So anytime you're seeing um, a scarab beetle or any kind of beetle in your life, come back to this message. All right. So last but not least, I'm going to pull some special messages for you. Now, these ones are going to be specific to you. I might not understand them, Gemini. So I want you to place them where they resonate for you today. All right. So spirit guides, what do my beautiful Gemini, Gemini friends need to know today? I'm sorry for my speaking here. I don't know why I'm off alignment today. All right. So learn new things. It will help you in the future, Gemini. Learn some new things this year because in your future, your future self will be so happy you did. Continue to make the most of every open door, Gemini. Continue to make the most of every open door. So look at that. These are your messages. This is your 2024 reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.